Are we going to be dancing every day when we first come Why out? Not? Because I feel like it's a way to go. Let's go. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Jen Dalton. Thank you for joining us on this Friday Eve, as we like to call it, for Arc Cincinnati. Yeah, a rainy, rainy day out there. A perfect kind of time to catch up on some mm. movies. So just ahead, we're going to sit down with our friends, the Cinema Guys, and talk about the latest flicks out there. Plus, aren't they going to be doing some trivia? There's a game. This? There's a game There's of a game. some kind, yes. So if you like movies, stay, and uh, we will be playing a game. Uh, but we're going to also break down a new trend, turning TikTok into a massive talent show. Useless talents, specifically. But first, let's take a look at what's brewing in the tri-state. Like Everything. how we transition. It Everything's got, got just a little bit of a and groove. You know what? It's smooth. It's perfect for Ooh, these guys right smooth. here. It's funny how differently facially haired they are in that picture. Oh, yes, that's back in there. You know what I mean? You see days. Ah, youth. Uh, well, Jason and Travis Kelsey's New Heights podcast will be live. It's moving, though. Uh, inside, it was going to be at Nippert Stadium, but because of the weather, it's going into UC's Fifth Third Arena. But here's the catch. The arena is one-third the size of Nippert. Of course, it's a lot smaller in there. But all tickets already purchased will be honored. General admission tickets will be seated on a first-come, first-served basis. A post from the podcast says... The intern who forgot to check the weather app has been reassigned. Nah. Uh, the Kelsey brothers will be joined by Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow. Also, Orlando Brown is going to stop by. Plenty of other surprises. And the Lumbaby games will go on and begin at 7 o'clock. The podcast itself starts at 9. Now, a video posted by Barstool Cincinnati appears to show one Jason Kelsey shooting darts at Uncle Woody's Pub. Now, Woody's is a popular bar. It's been around forever. That is right across the street from the University of Cincinnati. I want to watch this. Oh my gosh, how fun. And look at those people who are just standing there like, yep, no big deal. Who says you can't come home? Jason Kelsey just behind me shooting some darts. Um, oh, I noticed a picture from Carrie Combs. Yeah. With, oh, there it is. I didn't even know he had it in the show. Tanner look at Tanner, like he just that. knew that. He bang, knew that, bang, yeah. bang, boom. Um, Hanging out with Jason last night, and that—that that is Woody's, right, Uncle Woody's? Yeah, I think I that's think so. Cool. Yeah, I, I just think it's neat that they're not only just coming back to campus and just going to pop into Nippert, and that's going to be all. You know what I mean? Right. They're they're, they're and, hanging and out. not Nippert anymore, Fifth Arena. Um, but they're yeah, they're going probably to their old stomping grounds and their old haunts and all that kind of thing, and taking some time with folks. And I think being inside Fifth Third Arena, like you can't get as many people in there, but because you're inside, I think it might be louder. It might be crazier even than right. it was going to be outside. Kind of keeping people to closer together, right? more of a community instead of being super spread out. A little tighter to the action, so it will be a good it's time, no doubt, on UC's campus. Speaking of good times, get ready to walk this way, or I'm not even going to try to do the voice. Aerosmith says they are finally ready to head back out on tour. I'm really excited about this. The Rock Legends will now be playing at the Heritage Bank Center on October 17th. The tour was postponed after singer Steven Tyler damages vocal cords. The farewell tour kicks off a 40-date run September 20th in Pittsburgh with a one night only special performance from Teddy Swims. Love that. Ooh, and the Black Crows will also join Aerosmith on the road. Tickets go on sale for their Cincinnati stop tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I don't know how many tickets are still available because I would imagine the they edge. had to have been close to selling out. And so for people who held on to those tickets initially before they postponed, you know, those are obviously going to be honored. So I don't know. I don't know how many are left, but I do know that people have been waiting for this tour to come back for a long time. When you hear Steven Tyler sing, you like, of course, his vocal cords right. at some point are going to have a problem because I, I don't know how he hits and does some of the things with his voice that he does. Have you ever seen them in concert? Yes, I have. I thought you had. Back in the day when I worked for Sony Music, they were yeah. on one of the labels, so I got to see them multiple times. Good show. And, oh, my gosh. It was, I mean, of course, everybody knows who Aerosmith is. But sure. You tend to forget how many how many amazing songs they have. Right. And so I went to the show, and afterwards I'm like, I gotta go get this album. I gotta go get this one because it was just incredible. Coming up with a playlist for them has to be difficult in the sense of what songs are we not going to play? Right. You know what I mean? Because people yeah. want people want to hear the hits. They want to hear whatever, but and you can't get on. to them all. You can't get to them all. Now that was. 20 some years ago, but sure. they put on an incredible show. Like, yeah. just incredible. It'll be, so. a great, it'll be a great time, I have a feeling. It will. Well, construction is beginning on a new, larger playground at Sharon Woods. The groundbreaking took place yesterday, and it's going to be 10,000 square feet, featuring natural materials and include something for kids of all ages, from toddlers to tweens. It will also be accessible for kids with different abilities. The new design was influenced with public input that included an interactive workshop with kids. The project is expected to cost about $3 million, and funding comes from a levy approved by voters in 2020. Looks oh. like an absolute blast, by the way. I love you. You have no idea. When I was a kid, the playground was like, yeah. like that was it. And, and 
So see this thing about right here? Mm -hmm. So we had a wooden jungle gym at John Foster Dulles Elementary in the Oak Hills Local School District. And I would jump from places that I shouldn't, that were too high. Yes, my son likes to do to that be, now. I had to, okay. I was not I was not the kind of student that, that had to stand for recess. Did you ever have to stand for recess? No. Oh. That was a punishment for it us. Was? Like if you did something, you had to stand. <gasps> like they, they make you go out on the playground and, and stand and stood, watch all the other you kids? You stood on a line. No, ours was like you couldn't go outside. Like you just had to, you stay, had to stay inside. In. But could you still like play games and stuff inside? You couldn't play games, but you had to like sit at your desk and color or something like that. Color? I don't this know. This was you had to stand. Like literally stood on that a line. That is tough. Yeah, but I never, like I never, that never, like I never really. That doesn't shock me. I was a me pretty that you good never, rule yeah. follower, except for the jumping off of high things. Bobby, and don't that's jump. one of the few times I had to stand for recess. Oh my gosh. No more jumping off the thing. I'm surprised and, they got you to actually stand in one place for it was 20 very minutes or whatever. Look, look at me right now. I, know, I can't, I can't, can't stand still right now. Um, hey, a Nashville-based spot for brunch will open its first Ohio location in Over the Rhine. 3CDC announced that Biscuit Love Ooh, look at Plan, plans to open later this year. You're, wait till you hear some of these things. It's at the corner of Liberty and Pleasant Streets. That's where it will pop open. Started as a food truck in Nashville and then expanded to brick and mortar locations in Middle Tennessee and Alabama. The menu includes breakfast and lunch foods, including bonuts. That's probably what you saw there right at the beginning, which are fried biscuit dough oh. with toppings. Mm. There is also something called the East Nasty, <laughs> which is a biscuit topped with a fried boneless piece of chicken, a thigh specifically, and then, and then some gravy on top of that. Yeah, these are the bonuts, our, our Tanner said our Go producer. nuts for the bonuts, uh, as it were. Get the biscuits I mean, and the honey sauce. My goodness, the honey sauce. I know. I wish I could sing right now. I know. I want, yeah, I want, I, I want not you to sing that. Because what, they consume me. Uh, what, what is the, the place that used to be in OTR? Oh, and it's still uh, down. Boomtown? It's, Boomtown Biscuits. It reminds me a little bit yeah. of that. And there is still a Boomtown down in somewhere in northern Kentucky. Yes, because I went to yeah, it. I can't it. remember the location. Union, maybe. Maybe something. I went to it not long ago and it was delicious. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that one's still out there and that, that will maybe fill the biscuit void in OTR. Maybe we'll have to do like a live broadcast I from this mind place doing. when it opens. I bet, you could, yeah, I bet you could pick one of those up and throw it and I can catch it. You know, I'm not, like, like, like do with the hibachi? Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay, like we'll that. try it. That'd be yeah. great. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> that sounds good. Now I'm hungry. So let's <laughs> sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest. You want to see more, so click some of those links. Or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.